I'm Riley. I'm Vanessa. You're, You're watching, watching The Bend. Bend. That was creepy. Yeah, let's not do that again. No. Ugh. Anyway, so yes, assisted stretching. And we finally can do another narrative after all of the complications with editing, recording, and just doing anything with this video. This video has been hell. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Squirrels took out the power in my town. Anyway, so um, we don't actually know a proper or official way to help with any sort of uh, plow, which is what we're doing here, but we do find that putting pressure on the feet and pulling on the hands like so allows the bender to compress themselves a little further without worrying about gravity pulling against them. If you watch it closely, you will notice that I do fold more tightly with Vanessa putting pressure on my hands and feet. Yeah, probably a better way to do it. We're open to suggestions, but that is what we figured out in the probably 10 minutes we tried to figure it out before this video. Also, if you don't want to hear us talk about random stuff and the band, you can just turn off the volume. As always. Yeah. I right. mean, there's no reason the volume needs to be on. And the knot. Uh, again, warm up more than we do. We didn't include our warm up in this video, but if I had warmed up properly, I would have been able to curl myself tighter than that. But um, this one's similar to the plow. I've never seen anybody help anybody with a knot, so I don't know if this is actually what you should do, but it didn't cause me any pain, and it helped me curl more tightly than I could by myself. So what Vanessa was doing was she put her feet on my bottom and basically just grabbed onto my hands and straightened her legs and leaned backwards. It's apparently actually pretty strenuous on your leg muscles. Very strenuous. So you'll help the bender curl more tightly and you'll get a leg workout. Mm -hmm. Which seems to be very mm -hmm. common for when I'm helping you with one bend. And I'm still not going to attempt to pronounce the name of this stretch. Budahasana. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, um, we found a better way to help with some with this, rather than just yanking on their leg as hard as you possibly can, is, as you saw, grab onto their foot, take their hand, and pull the foot back, and then wrap the arm around their foot, so that they don't have to try and do that. I don't know what to do to get into that stretch myself. I don't know if my legs are not strong enough, or if my legs aren't flexible enough, so I am open to suggestions on that. And standing for a bend, this is the only assist uh, front bending that I do know is the actual proper way to do it. This is the only one you should take my word for because I have seen professionals do this. Just It's exactly like what we did with the knot. Just place your feet on their legs, grab their hands, lean back. Uh, for the person bending though, plant your feet really firmly on the floor because you will get pushed up onto your toes and if that happens you run the risk of falling flat onto your back. And uh, depending on the weight ratio between you and the person assisting, you might drag them with you. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. And here comes the most awkward part of the narration, because we're not doing anything. Yeah, yeah we barely edited this video. Yeah, you know, well, that, that's good. Oh, yeah, this is, um, I don't entirely know what the proper name for it is. I think it's the upload side bow. If I am wrong, you will tell you people will tell me down in the comments. And so Riley's just making helping me so that way my hands are grabbing onto my feet as I'm flexible to do it myself. It's just not seeing where my hands and feet are makes it so I have no idea where any of my body parts are. Yep. <laughs> what are you saying there? Um I don't know. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is when I'm trying to get into a chest hand mm -hmm. because I'm not actually strong enough to get into one, mm. nor am I flexible enough to get into one. So this was just a disaster from the start. Yeah. We also don't have any equipment that makes practicing chest stands more uh, simple. Also, that is a candle holder. It has been there a long time and I did not want it broken. Yeah, she didn't worry that it might fall and hurt me. Yeah, that didn't even occur to me. She was worried that it would break. Well, it's old. It's been there a long time. I have I, I have a few of those. I am your friend. Yes. Humans heal. Candle holders don't. Um, hey, look at me giving up. Giving up <laughs> and asking for your assistance. And you just put it back. You don't even care that I want your help. It's not that I didn't care, it's that I have the candle holder in my hand, so 
I wanted to put it back where it was supposed to be. Why didn't you just set it back on the table? What table? <laughs> Any of the tables in your house. I have, like, one table. Do you only have one? Yes. You could have put it on the island. Why would I go into the next room? Or the Why? desk. Okay. okay. So this is her helping me go into the chest stand. Um, there's a better way to actually do that. But I'm not flexible enough to be able to get into the chest stand. Nor mm. strong enough to be able to get myself into one. Mm. So that's just the best thing for us to do. Normally you would help them from the other side. You would push up against the front of their thighs rather than grab onto their feet and pull. Dance, 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 dance. There is no music playing right now, by the way. Absolutely none. We just dance to nothing. I was dancing to the sound of your voice. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What? Where did that even come from? I don't know. That so that sounded nice and cutesy. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is called. I mean, I assume in some way it's called the scorpion, as that's what it's referred to. But I know the scorpion as being on your elbows and then having your feet to your head. So I don't know if they're the same thing. Again, you'll probably tell us that we're wrong in every <laughs> manner of this video and 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 educate us. Mm -hmm. That one helping is exactly what it looked like. Just grab their hands and feet and bring them together. Just yeah. be sensitive of whether or not they seem like they're about to fall over. And then I just immediately let go because I was going to fall. Mm -hmm. And for this one, Riley isn't assisting in any way, as I don't need assistance when it comes to this. She's just spotting me because I'm to a point in my bend where when I do my back bend and I try to go farther, I get. What's what I'm looking for? So compressed, so unsteady. I don't know. I, I, I get unsteady, so I fall over. Mm -hmm. So just putting a gentle amount of pressure on either their arms or their rib cage will keep them from falling over while they're trying to compress themselves more tightly. And then I can focus on that instead of worrying about falling. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's about it. So have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Now, now actually take this one.